So you know that if you want to malloc a pointer, you're going to need a double pointer. If we have a pointer p, a char pointer p, and then we want to malloc it inside a function, uh, we need to pass the address and then take a char pointer pointer in the function. And if we compile it, uh, it will work. But actually, if we just move it here, uh, maybe like this, we don't need to have a double pointer to modify the string. So if we do this, um, it's gonna work. It's gonna allocate enough memory, or no, it's gonna string copy the string because, well, string copy doesn't actually need a double pointer. Well, why? Why does malloc need a double pointer, whereas you don't actually need a double pointer to modify the value? Because if we do this. Right. If you do that, um, it's the string's not there, but it, it it is actually. If we do, if we try to print it inside the function, right? So the string's actually there, but we're not getting the string. Why? Well, as we can see the string is actually somewhere in memory we have managed to print it we are not getting the original pointer to point to that string because when we are not when we're only passing the value of p currently p is just declared and it points to whatever uh, it's not like initialized or anything and so well, we pass that we, we pass this value which is useless honestly and we discard that immediately because we are assigning the s here to uh, malloc so now it points to uh, another location in memory in which the malloc uh, is and then we copy that and the string is actually there as we've seen before but again since we only pass the value of p we're we're only copying it to the temporary variable s and so we're not actually modifying p the pointer we have the string we have allocated the string but we have not assigned the location of the string to the actual p we have assigned it to this temporary pointer s which the p has nothing to do with s really the s just assigns itself with the value of the location in memory that p points to but after that, it uh, allocates memory and points to it, and then string copy. But uh, the, the P is not actually modified. When we try to print P, P is still pointing to, I don't know, it's pointing to whatever. And so we don't get hello world. And if we pass a pointer pointer, if we pass the address of p and we change this to that okay what what is happening well we are passing the address of p to the function so this function actually has the address of p and so we are actually modifying the pointer because well it has the address of p and we the reference it and of course we are using the location p and then we're using p as a pointer and so we are actually assigning the malloc or 
we are actually s assigning p to the malloc and so it will persist after the function call but if you are uh, 